precious and priceless. Um, I do not want to call the one that happened um, with a little schoolgirl for 14, almost 15 years old. I do not want to call that suicide. The reason is because I've seen some of this before. Pastor Dan here at Amasaman was, was in his house one morning when assailants went into his house and killed him, murdered him in cold blood, and then made it look like the school girls. They put the, the just like they found the girl's feet on the ground, same thing, Pastor Dan's feet was on the ground. Just like the girl. Share the page, let's work. Now, you know, they go and they call that suicide. Suicide banner, you know, people ending with suicide banner, what they take the mantra. Suicide banner, and one you song with home. Ah, suicide banner. So I will not call that suicide until the police finish their investigation. That is somebody's daughter we're talking about. But there is something I realize in Ghana. If it is not about somebody that is popular and somebody that is rich and somebody that is influential, then, then, then you know, it goes nowhere. It's sad. Do you know what it means to take care of a daughter for, uh, you know, and take a, 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 somebody to a private school? Do you know what it means to, for that to happen? Sad. And I'm going to address suicide, but I mean, I look at this young lady in a boarding school and, 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 and this happens. It is a painful thing. I'm using the opportunity to commiserate with the family of this young lady and use the opportunity to say to them, there is judgment that be rest assured. Whatever happened, only God knows and God that knows that the same God will judge. I'm telling you. And so I'm going to use the opportunity to tell the young lady's father and mother, Kankumato Yem, when I'm here with a talk, eh, eh, I realize the impatience of this country. You know, people are so much impatient and they want a lot of things to happen just overnight. This is why hope is depleting. But you have forgotten that Christ in you, the hope of glory. The people have forgotten this. I see a from a material TV, so you can't go see a someone, all that kind of thing. You, you know, you come from a fire, you go see it, and you want one, and you want one, and you want more, 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 struggling more than any other person. I'm looking at, you know, when I drive around this country, I get so heartbroken and sad. You know, when you talk about it, people rather complain. I see you are being unbearable and all stuff like that. You are being uh, uh, bigoted, bigoted. And he's just a bigot, bigoted preacher. Talk too much. He makes all things so a bit complicated. But we voted, you know, for leadership and for... Don't you understand the concept of leadership? Everything rises and falls on leadership. I'm telling you. When you see a problem, it is a, a matter of four things. Number one, it's either a leadership problem. Number two, a vision problem. Number three, a resources problem. Or number four, a lack of training problem. And so Ghana is no exception. What we are dealing with, number one, it's leadership. Number one, leadership. I drive on the streets and I look at the chaos. We are traveling uh, and I'm now looking at, you know, the, the kind of, I'm telling these young men with me and I'm saying to them, you are going to buy five cars. That person is going to buy five cars. Another person is going to buy three cars. Where are we going to be driving with all those cars if we have no plan of expansion? What is our plan? Put the plan on the table and let's start working. Put the plan on the table. Where are those days when somebody will go to bed and think creativity, innovation, that, that we are going to, you know, make things happen? 
When there is a problem, we don't apportion blames. We don't accustom blames. We fix it. We fix it. I want to say it again. We fix it. It's not this person caused it. That person caused that. That is irrelevant. That is useless. We don't apportion blame. If you had done this, and if he had done that, and if should, you know, could have, and would have, and all that. That is in the bosom of people who do not want anything to happen. We should be able to come to the drawing table and to be able to think and plan that in the next 20 years, this is what we will want to see happen. And to be able to go ahead and plan well, innovative thinking, creative thinking, and that, that kind of thinking. It will miss a gun of for me, I drink. I say, we show me more like I keep saying, Jimmy, 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 Jimmy is one of our biggest obstacles. When we talk about, you know, a revolution, we need a total overhaul for it to happen. You know, Peri Peri Yanukre. There was a thing in that you to be found to a nyagumenti. And that's why we see all kinds of things happening. So I said, "Me, I see you come and see you. I buy yeah, yeah. You see a committee one, you suicide and all that until the police confirm and say, 'Me, me, me. Would it be a pastor than blessing it until now? She tell you, tell slap. I'm a person. My police couldn't produce a report, and I will not stop talking about it until justice. They, I'm not talking about Momo justice here. Momo justice here. I'm talking about the vengeance of God until it prevails. And uh, when you me, now you're the talk. Ohima. There are so many people in this country that have been denied justice. Like Honorable JB Dankwedu. I'm telling you. Like I'm a swally. People. The money didn't grant us him. He has become history. I pray that the, you know all these cases one day will find justice. We will come to a place where people will come to an understanding that at least there is justice. Go to offices and go and see. And we are now be more the Omenia Chira buying the office where kilo to. So you know something that has to be signed. You know, as my chief director, you or quite a relief. For BB two or be free leave we about in just one hour. We are sick, Messi. And I tell you, yes, sorry, yes, sorry. This is why these young people are impatient. Or Barbara one two now we unu some faswa. Instantly, they want to, you know, uh, uh, look at the strange teacher. I've been in destitution and desperation for a long time. This is why there is a need for us or a papa. Us or a papa. It encourages, it strengthens, it empowers the word of God and Christ in you. It brings you a lot of hope and it brings you a lot of stamina and stability. No matter what it is, you will stand and you will be, you know, vindicated. When you are in Accra, you feel like uh, we're doing something. Go out of Accra and look at some very, very disheartening things. You see, I mean, we don't have money. Because the waste is unbelievably too much. The waste is unbelievably too much. And so right now you see the essence of, you know, curbing all the waste and guarding everything that is going down the drain. It's now time to guard that. He is capable, he said he's king, you know. A two of every other thing in this car. And you could rope, and you could rope, okay. You're much of a young. You're much of a young. Now, Sabre, 
and it was the cut you quote according to our material, not our size. Because your size may be bigger than your material. So you, you, you cut your quote according to it. Because obe this generation is an impatient generation. Obia Pentum. Obia Pentum. 14 years can go to the shrine and see me Pisca. Can you just imagine that? This is where parents must wake up. The whole system, like Isaiah chapter 1 verse 5 will say, the whole head is sick. And the whole heart is totally frail and vulnerable. Ladies and gentlemen, I will not waste, you know, your time this afternoon. I want to use the opportunity to right now and tell this generation, God has a plan for everybody. And no matter what it is, that plan will prevail. So let's stop being this unreasonably impatient with ourselves. Contentment. Godliness with contentment is great gain. Contentment. Young people are so incontent. And that is why people sorry for to know you are going to be so. Or pass a driver car one year and one juma. Or pass a year year. A brand one won't pay price. And that is what we are in. And so we have, you know, an impatient problem. Yeah. When, when the citizenry do not have the heart of contentment, the Bible said it is certain we came into this world with nothing and we shall also exit with nothing. So if we have food and raiment and all that, let us be content with that. Yeah. Yeah. And and I'm not talking about this government or the past government. All successive governments. All successive governments. Anytime there is a problem, four things. Number one, it's a leadership problem. Number two, it's a vision problem. Number three, it is a resources problem. And number four, it is a lack of training problem. What I will want to tell, you know, uh, the youth and all these kind of things is because you lack training the necessary the necessary prerequisite skills for us to be able to wake up to do something reasonably if you call people to come there is a skill training uh vacancy right here you know come in and come and learn up they will not because so pesca will be doing this here you be here doing this here it is i'm 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 driving past you know a particular vicinity and in this particular vicinity may catch out this lands that was not lands for affordable housing these were farm reserves reserved for you know animal research reserve and then a housing project be here Misplaced priorities, Ghana. Adia bakwe impidi uno no. Misplaced, misappropriated priorities. Obi kasa se ya nwa dan wa mane tamfo. Ya nwa ho. Kana nwa speech ya mchure kuma mi ura so mfango kasa. Ya mi ura tinkro fuito. Ha? Sa, ya, 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 one without any discretion and decorum. And I want to use the opportunity to say to these crazy boys, uh, let me say this to you. There are certain things that are not a blessing and it will never be a blessing. And anybody that goes through it will never be blessed. And that is why you die like dogs. Because the obedience is all sorry. Now, was Kikemu, Edia Tamnomi, Adia, no, I popular. Adia, you are a winche. Sorry, they didn't pay for them because you are incontent with who you are and everything that you know you have become. God, I'm telling you. I'm so saddened for the past one week. Look at what happened at Kasua yesterday. A woman and her daughter crossing the road. The truck came and just rode on them. She found also. That's the Sawumu Flugu. 
plywood, one eight plywood or so. Any other woman could see here. My heart is broken for this nation. Jeremiah Kaya, Jeremiah chapter number nine, verse number one. Me wobe baby and come to a jam. Me to a jam, no me swam. Me to a jam, no me swam. When I look at the way the crown prince of Dubai, how he works, it shocks me. The man does not leave things for uh, 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 evaluation and monitoring people to do that job. If he gives you a contract, he inspects the contract himself. Upon delivery, he will go in the night with bright light and inspect the work you are doing. And he doesn't even wait for the job to be finished. In the night, that's when he works. He goes around inspecting jobs. Jobs. It is so sad. Because they have a faulty message. And when you have a faulty message, that is what happens. They begin to speak absurdity. The moment don't go back there, it be on your side. They talking absurdity. Tell people I am coming to fix the country. It will cost you. You bet Pamu be my free baby. You bet Tia be no man so. You bet Yanya ma. You bet Tene ne be ba. If you say Tene ne, he pay jaw on my. We are going to be no pay baby for. We part to open jai. Ni a yen sani e jana ho. Ni a majuma nento. Ni a ready you see. Afi ma bana mo to to niema ni ehwe niema ni mko. Hedi egalam se ayem. Hedi egalam se ayem. And I never knew. Debia no mo ken na minyi ni. Ya bo pani bi ni me so nka ho. Ya bo we di me so nka ho. Onti minya. The nation has said no. Onti minya. We are too integral to be to be to be this nasty. Sana amam for the church. That disheartening thing. I like one regional minister was speaking last week at the uh, small scale mining forum, and he was saying that you know, any government appointee that is found doing certain things is going to be stripped of that particular public office and all that. And I was like, huh? Government appointee can be in this. I mean, shall I approach in what? One excavator costs hundred thousand dollars. It will be any you know. Most of the excavators in our family are near metal. The best can and can go home to us for. The church are too much, you know. Church are too much, you know. Or beyond the main case, the approach is faulty. The approach of the Galamse fight is a faulty approach. It's a weak approach. The approach is a worthless approach. I'm telling you. What is the point? In burning an excavator, a bulldozer, a bria comedian crop for a woman, a woman, a woman, a woman, I'm telling you, even though the, the whole man is, 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 is degrading, is, is maligning, is marginalizing, it is destroying all kinds of things and all that kind of thing. The approach is weak. And I think that you need leadership for this particular thing to happen. Kwaya, you have a bunk of four people, so we can't go, so we can't go. We'll be in the excavator free. You have to be able to get the water in the excavator. You have to be able to get the water in the excavator. You have to be able to get the water in the excavator. And there are people still writing on their bellies here. In the eastern region. I don't want to talk about other regions. I'm talking about only the one I know. Because they don't even see hope. They can't see hope. They can't see hope. Now, most of all, we'll come to suicide. We don't need to be able to. Huh? 
it me and my one here come on stand on national television and talking about as soon as he know he's suffering from liver problem now find a cause he, he needs whatever to do that what is the hospital doing you train this on national tv every hospital where we have the professionals oh my to me you be in check when you be being young come for more on my way and turn to the city do it in career and here for you see again i'm a sumpa now, Donnie, she had a more man. My brother, first of all, you're in the Proverbs 22 22. And Mamma Bruni, Chrono Fisoy, Mobruni. Send the pan when you're never quaman. Donna, such a wagging you. Such a wagging your sir. When you're near your turn in a buffu, is she our own pet a sampan? I'm no okay. Such a wagging. Seriously talking to you. Yes, sir. Honorable Minister, you call Nan with them. Now, or the drone footage. Look at the degradation of the forest. Quiet, don't turn and Kayam comes, they say. You got to say, who you have a hope. And the iron so any part one has a woman in pipe or dada. It in case so we are no more sanum. I feel swing your common on iron potto. A dear man, a warm of benum. Very soon, we will say, swash or two. Now, I said, yeah, said, I'm okay to put in the matches and they and chinning in the men. Now, you did in the air and we now, yeah, crano, son, yeah, baby, crin su, son, yeah, baby, crin su. And so, if it is not a leadership problem, it is a vision problem. Me say, and Chroma will continue to be a hero as long as we cannot do anything beyond his work you know sometimes when i sit and i see politicians comparing themselves to Nkrumah, it is very interesting to me yeah and Kruman in the class you know they were some kind heli salasi julius nyerere nelson mandela jomo kenyatta Masajifu. they were different even the west were afraid of them even the West was totally afraid of them. I feel hope, Papa. Montias here. Sometimes I realize that we are even refusing to acknowledge the problem. Tias here say yare. Na yempe ya nwedu na yempe ya nwedu. If we are refusing that we don't have a problem, how then do we discover a solution? Why Sharia and I will pay Drew? What do you mean? What will be able to help? God, I'm so yare. We are you are sick and you need fixing. Ghana, you need fixing. You have to be fixed. And I'm not talking about politicizing this kind of thing. If we want to build a nation, we need to fix it from all angles. I'm seriously talking to you. I go and I'm so. I go and fun and I'm so. There's a traffic and I'm near you. And go go see that baby. I mean, a go go see that baby. It will be so assume yes. Tia ya kanya mi agi njera mo. Tia tia we yankin yendi. Oma we mu ya kaza chere fo. It's not just mere talk. It is just a minister of state. I'm sorry. Ababa be a clean up. Ni a bubu containers ni a the answer na mo ni a ba mozo. Samu yari say. Samu yari say. Sanya be minister of state as sorry no ababa be uefia and for we in sia and sana when you have a mohoso it's so sad we cannot help our people so be kure ye jumana senye san wo ye no minu ya yenye ne se ye mu e jumano yenye ne se se ne se ne se buwano buwano na wenti mi buwano that is how it works so if it is not a leadership problem, it is a vision problem. If it is not a vision problem, it is a resources problem. Now, let me say this to this nation. I know that sometimes we meet our revenue collection targets. But the truth of the matter is that Ghana is too blessed to be poor. Ghana is too blessed to be 
on their knees. Ghana is too blessed to be, you know, in this particular deplorable and ma marginalizing state. I'm serious. Ghana is too blessed to be in a state like that. And so you can give a wise man or a wise woman something meager, something little, something microcosm, something minuscule. And that wise woman or wise man is going to multiply just like the parable of the talent. You know, they can multiply that which has been given to them and then make it extremely wonderful. Look at bad leadership in Africa. If you go to DR Congo, the whole continent, it is the most wealthiest nation. They have every resources. Look at how Belgium is siphoning that nation. Fight among ourselves whilst we loot the nation's wealth. Bad leadership has caused all these mutinies on the continent. It is a sad thing. But we have been privileged by God and blessed by God. Let us rise and shine and use that which God has given us and make some very great exploits with it. We're going to come back again with Jesus rally. You know, we are almost at our location. It's rained heavily, heavily at our location of the crusade. And I will let you know. But I want to finish up by saying, if there is a problem in any situation, you will see a lack of training. When the Chinese started infiltrating Africa, they realized that we lack skills. And the moment they realized we lack skills, they started infiltrating in those areas where we lack skills. Lack of training. Our people are not trained. We have a lot of people that are unemployed, but they lack the necessary or the, the prerequisite training that is needed on the job. Guys, I want to use the opportunity to commiserate with the family of, of, the, of these girls that have committed suicide. Killing yourself is not a solution. And you can't blame anybody because I don't play the blame game. It is good to pin people to their task and let them, let them wake up to their task and get things going. But I am telling everybody that is watching me right now, don't, your life is in your own hands. Your destiny is in your own hands. It's not in somebody's hands. So keep up our life. And know that Jesus is Lord. And God is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all things that you can think, ask, or imagine. And don't be in a hurry because contentment is golden. Contentment is golden. Put in your also. Put in your also. And yes, you know, driving a car doesn't mean you are rich and walking doesn't mean you are poor. We have mixed it up. Our mentality concerning success is totally mixed up. And that is why we are not seeing the glory of God. I'm calling a nation to repentance. Repent. Because righteousness exalts a nation. And sin is a reproach to any people. I ask the police, please do a holistic work on that little girl's death. And let the truth prevail. Because if it fails, God's vengeance will take place. When righteousness, righteousness becomes a lifestyle, breakthrough, it becomes a traumatic. And the Lord bless you. Good afternoon. We are back in the next... You know, a few minutes, uh, we are almost at the place of our crusade. And so we will, you know, be broadcasting right on the same page, a crusade. Everybody who joined me from around the nation, South Africa, Jamaica, uh, you know, in parts of Africa, Nigeria, thank you very much. We appreciate and applaud all of you.